Welcome, dear viewers, to a powerful and enlightening discussion on breaking the chains of witchcraft and embracing divine protection. Today, we delve into a unique message received from lead celestial host Michael, offering guidance on how to navigate through potential dark forces that may be influencing our lives. In this extraordinary revelation, we are alerted to the presence of two women who have allegedly cast a dangerous witchcraft spell. The message emphasizes the need for immediate action and provides a spiritual path to counteract these malevolent energies. Divine Intervention As we explore the concept of divine intervention, the message suggests that Archangel Michael's powers will envelop and remove any influence of magic placed on our lives. The importance of meditation on purity is highlighted, with an emphasis on considering ourselves as precious children under Archangel Michael's protection. Roots of Rebellion and Witchcraft we delve into the roots of rebellion and how disobedience can manifest as a desire to fill the void left by separation from God. The alleged witchcraft is portrayed as a form of rebellion against the divine order, seeking dominance and control through manipulation of their targets. Forces of Obscurity The forces of obscurity are discussed, with an acknowledgement of secrecy and dark rituals often associated with malevolent witchcraft. The alleged perpetrators are described as vessels for lingering energies, motivated by jealousy, thirst for power, and a journey toward obscurity. Divine Light and Protection The message encourages turning to the divine and God's control for an unshakable shield of protection. Viewers are urged to focus keenly on the divine light, which is portrayed as a powerful defense against the lingering forces of darkness. Empowerment and Victory as the message unfolds, empowerment and victory are emphasized through faith and confidence in divine intervention. The viewers are encouraged to proclaim their strength three times and believe in the power of prayer and heavenly guidance. Lead Celestial Host Michael is finally coming to you through this message because two women have cast a dangerous witchcraft spell against you, and you must do something immediately to save yourself, usually the most important signs and the path you seek. From heaven above, Get ready because within the next 10 minutes you will feel the powers of Archangel Michelle enveloping your body and removing any influence of magic that has been placed on your life, if that is what you are doing. Like they say, don't take it lightly. If you really want extraordinary protective protection from lead celestial host Michael against your drives, meditate on purity for the next 10 minutes. With Archangel Michael saying that they are precious children against whom extremely dangerous magic has been cast. You are not here by chance. God has directed your steps here because it was God's control that can save you from this impending unholy danger. Know that despite the witch using any spirit other than the Holy Spirit in attempt to control. The fact is that it cannot target the souls of God's individuals, but it wants to target the souls of our individuals to keep individuals in depression and keep individuals in bondage, falling humanity to rebellion. Could be the religion of. Similar to the sin of witchcraft, you are all rebellious by nature, you rebel against God within the cultivation of Eden and Adam, and so part of what this rebellion has brought to mankind is witchcraft, of witchcraft. The root is rebellion, but the cause of disobedience is us learn more deeply about the important truths of God's words. The vital feeling of separation from God disobedience may be a manifestation of their inner desire to feel the void left by separation. From God, yes, I crave control and control that can take them down. The women who have done this witchcraft are on a path comparable to the dark path of darkness. Think little about the seriousness of this situation. The forces of obscurity have conspired against you and are looking for chaos and destruction in your life. Both of these women have through their activities allowed themselves to become receptacles for these dim energies. The exact timing and methods of this dim spell are shrouded in secrecy as those who practice this type of malevolent witchcraft often practice dark hazing and operate under the cover of secrecy. This may be done during a lunar phase that is acknowledged to be particularly favorable to their intentions or in a moment of afterlife vulnerability for the purpose of channeling their darker desires and intentions. The thought processes behind such alleged witchcraft may be old, arising from jealous contempt or a desire for control and control by those who regularly practice such resort to such practices, they do so in order to manipulate their intended targets. To see how chaos, despair or misfortune prevails there, the appearance of their claim is rebellion against the general order and a desire to impose dominance the two women who have summoned this witchcraft as compared to others are on a journey. From the past towards the obscurity of the other world, they may be motivated by personal vindic jealousy or thirst for power. It is basic to get that these individuals have allowed themselves to become vessels for these lingering energies by severing their connection with the divine and taking the path of rebellion against all that is sacred but fearing the divine light that is far more powerful than any mantra or mantra. 
It is during these times that you must turn to the divine and God's control. Unshakable shield of your holy protectors, I allow under your control the control of snakes and scorpions and all the control of the enemy and in no way should in any way harm the music, you are children. Your assured prayers and heavenly guidance is for you the most powerful defense against these lingering forces by focusing keenly on the light. You will scatter the shadows and overcome the danger that hangs over you and your journey to be free from the bondage of rebellion and witchcraft. You must beware of anyone who tries to hurt you. Hold on to your confidence and believe that divine intervention will lead you to victory. The divine light is your sacred place and with its protection you will come through this trial and will come out strong and spotless. After you say, I shout three times that I am solid. I am confident that your faith will introduce you to the divine power of God and eliminate that witchcraft by the power of God's. Share this message with those who may need the guidance of Chief Heavenly Angel Michaels. Our confidence becomes a powerful barrier against it. Blurred clarity and addiction is with you, and witchcraft will disintegrate under Archangel Michael's protection. Keep in mind that you are a child. In today's video, we delve into a message claiming celestial intervention against a dark spell. Before we proceed, remember to approach such matters with a critical mindset. The message speaks of an alleged witchcraft spell cast by two women in the intervention of Archangel Michael. Let's break down the elements presented. Alleged Witchcraft The narrative describes the spell as an attempt to bring chaos and destruction. Witchcraft is linked to rebellion and separation from God. While interesting, it's crucial to approach such claims with skepticism. Dark Forces at Play the two women are portrayed as vessels for dark energies. This involves a journey into obscurity and potential motivations like jealousy or a thirst for power. The message emphasizes the need to reconnect with the divine for protection. The focus shifts to Archangel Michael as the protector against these dark forces. The audience is urged to meditate on purity and seek divine guidance. This aligns with the idea that faith and prayer serve as powerful defenses. Critical thinking while the message may resonate with some, it's crucial to approach these claims with a discerning mind. Critical thinking helps distinguish between genuine concerns and unfounded fears. In conclusion, the narrative presented in this message revolves around protection from alleged witchcraft through divine intervention. Remember to rely on evidence and reason when faced with such claims. Stay curious, stay skeptical, and explore the world with an open mind. In conclusion, this message serves as a reminder that, in times of spiritual challenges, embracing divine light and protection can lead us to victory over the forces of darkness. Share this powerful revelation with those who may need Chief Heavenly Angel Michael's guidance on their journey to freedom from the bondage of rebellion and witchcraft. Remember, you are a child of divine light, and with faith, you can overcome any trial. Stay strong, stay confident, and trust in the power of divine intervention.